Okay, I'm going to show you with the auxiliary swords. Their combinations, then combine them with the black dump truck and the blue jet. I'm also going to show you if I'm going to try and do this one short and quick. I'm want to show you some combinations you can do with the two jet zords well the cars and the hovercrafts anyway well start out by popping the front of the cement truck off putting it up front pop the top of that off put it, switch it around Take that one, put it like this, as you can tell, it's off balance. Take the head off, and it does balance it out. Pop this off. They did mess up on a lot of coloring on these swords. Well, on all of them, except for, I think, the battle fleet. They didn't do too bad of a job on them. As you can tell, the sword really ain't that stable because one leg is balanced by the wheels. And this is the only stable leg they made on it. All you do is pop that there. Put this one on the other side, then head here. They can bow its head back up. I think this Zord has the most movements out of them all, except for in the legs. But uh, body wise, it can twist pretty good. But as for the blue jet, it's basically the same as the red one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you with the black one, it does not have the snap inside of this part. So it just basically sets on there. It just holds somehow. Then you do the same to the green hovercraft that you did to the blue hovercraft. This one's newer so it's a bit stiffer so it holds together better. show you using the red one, the arm, the feet off of the red one, which reminds me of the Transformers Energon, how they did their combiners, where they used the same zords as the feet for the arms and legs. It's basically what this form here is. Like I said, this pop off this just falls off. I'd say pop off, but it does not have the snapping connector. It doesn't have that in it. Had that, that'd be pretty even better quality. But anyway, that's what I mean. That's 
basically all the combinations you can really do with it. Other than, see, here's what I was talking about. These pop off real easily. They don't lock in. They just slide in. this one apart well you can snap here but then you uh, this is all the movement you get other than turning so I snap it up here so it's got this movement and this movement and this show you the, I guess you could call it the muscle mode or something. Because look how huge the upper body is compared to the lower. Uh, quite a bit difference there. Pop that one. There's not really too much you can do with this sword. <laughs> there it is. Has the dual drive mega sword mode. I like how they did the faces on this sword. They've actually got quite a bit of detail. I don't know how good that's showing up. But I mean they went pretty far on some of the details they did on these. It's the one thing I did like about them but they also did mess a lot of paint like here it's supposed to be white and here they didn't paint the black they didn't put the colors of the rangers on the wings which they were supposed to I mean all in all though they did do a good job with them painting them and how they look <coughs> compared to the show zords I mean they look better than what we got for the deluxe zords there's less color mess ups on these than there are with the deluxe plus this one actually folds up basically disconnects but still it folds up goes in the right spot I'm trying to do this quick hopefully it will not be over 10 minutes 